What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Vices Zero Two football helmet. All right guys, today we have one of the most exciting innovations in football in front of us. Shout out to the guys over at Shut for sending us the new Vices Zero Two. It's not gonna be the most graceful unboxing here. Um, we do have a little bit of foam, so hope you guys enjoy that. I'm not a huge fan of foam. Well, let's get this thing out. Oh, I hate that noise. Here it is. It looks like we got a couple goodies with it as well. But guys, here it is. The brand new Vices Zero Two. Crazy, crazy helmet. All right, guys, so here it is. Here is the Vices Zero Two sent over to us by our good friends over at Shut. This is the first time I have seen this helmet, so I'm incredibly excited. I've seen a lot of NFL guys switch into this helmet, so it's really awesome to finally get my hands on it to show you guys and then it also came with the Vices Edge Oakley visor, which is really cool as well. This thing looks sweet, all right? This thing is awesome. So right here, one of the coolest things, it says, we're not a sporting goods company, we're a technology company combining cutting edge thinking from medicine, engineering, and sports. So that's really cool. And then you also have some fitting instructions. This thing should fit me pretty good. It's a medium, but we also got some of these extra little pods so I can get the perfect fit. And then we've also got a chin strap, but I might throw on a sports star chin strap just to complete this awesome all white look. First impressions of this helmet, it is absolutely beautiful. This all white is absolutely perfect. I wouldn't have it any other way. We do have a face mask with eye guards, which I am a huge fan of. You guys know I love my eye guards. And then the Vices Oakley Edge Shield to top it off with the new Oakley Clips, which is the first time I've actually gotten my hands on those. So I'm super excited about that. So I believe these are called Delta Pods. Like I said, I, I don't really know too much about this helmet yet. That's why I got to review it for you guys. Um, but these, these are very soft. This is incredibly soft, guys. Something else I've kind of noticed is that this helmet flexes a ton. I don't know how well you guys can really see some little some tests here. Look at that. There's a lot of there's a lot of play in this, but what that means is that it is absorbing the contact so it doesn't hurt your dome, which is good. Just want to kind of look at some of the details. You've got the V02 here on the side. It does have plenty of ventilation holes. You've got some here, some here. Obviously the ones everybody gripes about because how do you put a decal on this helmet? I don't know, um, but they do look pretty cool. You've kind of got like a mohawk design on the top here, um, two raised uh, structures there, and then a nice smooth center line. And I love this face mask. I think it looks really good. People aren't a huge fan of Vice's face mask, but I like this one. I think, looks, I think it looks all right. I feel like all these little pods are just Velcroed in, but I also don't want to break the helmet. Okay, so they're, oh, they've got kind of these very new innovative snaps. They come with the replacement pods, like I mentioned. They've got a couple different thicknesses. This is the 0.265, this is the 0.75, and let's see which one I have on here. This is the 0.5. So a couple different sizes. You guys can customize it to fit your head. Instead of putting air in it, you can actually just change the thickness of these pads. Let's kind of look at the, let's look at it. Hey, would y'all look at this? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of, it's, it's very soft, like, it feels really nice. And you got the Vice's Zero Two logo there. Now taking an even closer look, if you guys look in here, you guys see these pillars. I believe those are called Vice's reflex system. And these pillars bend and fold to absorb contact. And that is kind of why the helmet is so uh, bobble heady. I don't know what else to say. It, it has a massive shell. Uh, let me compare it to something with a smaller shell like my Shut F7. Um, they're both medium helmets and the Shut F7 is much smaller, um, but I'm very excited uh, to learn about the Vices Zero Two. I love getting my hands on new stuff, new technology, and Vices has been on the cutting edge since they were founded back in 2013. So that's really all I know and all I wanna say about the Vices before the actual review. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get some of these pads. I'm gonna make sure it fits me perfectly. I'm gonna go outside, you know, do football things, you know, like I do. And uh, I'll, try to, I'll try to let you guys know how it is in the full review coming right up. When we review a helmet on this channel, there's a couple different things we like to look at. First thing is gonna be the comfort, then the fit, then the protection, then the style, then the price. Kicking things off with the comfort, this is the comfiest helmet I've ever put on my head. I've compared the comfort of this helmet with my Speedflex, with my F7, with the Shadow, and this one is just so much better. The Delta Pods, which I'll talk about a little bit more later in the video, are so soft and so comfortable and they feel great on your head. In addition to these pods, this helmet also has awesome soft foam throughout the inside, which works with the pods and just feels so nice. 
Another thing I love about this helmet is how much it breathes. With any helmet, your head's gonna get hot when you're wearing it, but this helmet has plenty of ventilation. You've got the ventilation holes on the front, you have these rear vents, and then you've got some more holes in the back, and then you also get some air to the ear holes. Lastly, believe it or not, this helmet is actually pretty light. This thing only weighs 4.3 pounds, which I'm pretty sure is a little bit lighter than the Speedflex and around the same weight as the F7. So yes, it does look super bulky and super heavy like in my hands, but once you put it on, you can actually feel how lightweight this helmet is. Next thing I wanna talk about is the fit. This helmet fits absolutely excellent once I customize the fit to my head. The Vice Zero 02 has these really unique and really cool Delta pods that make up most of the padding on the inside of the helmet. Along with the helmet, I received a bag full of these Delta pads that are all different thicknesses. With these extra pads, I was able to change out some of the ones in there where the helmet was feeling loose or I had too much room, and I was able to customize the fit to my head. For my helmet, what I did to kind of give myself that custom fit is I put one inch jaw pads and then I put a 0.65 inch top pad so now the helmet fits my head perfectly. These pods replace the air bladder system that you guys find in most helmets and help creating the best fitting non-custom helmet on the market. Next thing we're going to talk about is protection and when you talk about helmets, protection is probably the most important aspect of a football helmet. To start it off, the Vice Zero 02 is the highest rated helmet ever in the Virginia Tech helmet rating scale, only trailing the lineman version of this helmet, the Vice Zero 02 Trench. Now it's time to dive into all the boring science technology that goes into this helmet and helps make it the best helmet in football. This helmet has four layers of protection. The first layer is going to be the deformable outer shell. So obviously that layer is going to be this outer shell that you guys see right here. As you guys probably saw in the unboxing, this helmet flexes a ton and that is fully intentional. The shell of this helmet acts similar to a car bumper and actually deforms intentionally to help absorb contact and prevent it from getting to your head. The next layer is their Reflex 2.0. This is a layer that you guys can't see right beneath the shell and what it is, it's a bunch of leverage buckling structures. These columns buckle when force is applied and helps absorb contact along with the outer shell. The next layer is the reinforced inner shell and that's going to be between this inside padding that you guys see here and the reflex structures that we just talked about. The inner shell is developed from tons of head shapes, so it's going to fit more heads more comfortably. The final layer is the delta pods on the inside that I mentioned earlier in the video. These individual pods make up most of the padding inside the helmet and they're super soft. These six pads are completely interchangeable, so you guys can change them out, get a custom fit, and you guys don't have to deal with air bladders. Overall, the technology and safety from Vices is second to none. It's the top ranked helmet in football. The four layers of protection are absolutely insane. There's so much technology and innovation packed into this helmet, making it the safest helmet in football. Next thing we're gonna talk about is style, and style is a category where this helmet may suffer. Let's be honest, in comparison to helmets like the Speedflex and the Shut F7, the Vice Zero 2 is not a great looking helmet. When I see guys wearing this helmet, I often think they look like a bobblehead because of how large the shell is. You know what, actually let me put it on for you guys, and you guys can judge for yourself. It's gonna look even worse without these shoulder pads, but do I look like a bobblehead? Yes or no, drop a comment right now. Also, this helmet is an absolute nightmare for team decals. Between all these holes on the front and this weird mohawk center, it's gonna be a little bit tough to get decals on this helmet. Lastly, the face masks on these are a little bit funky. Thankfully, I did get one with eye guards, um, but they're a little bit weird. They're definitely different than the stuff you guys see on speed flexes and F7, so it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a weird looking face mask. I do have to say, and I might be biased because this is my helmet, but I think it looks pretty sweet. All right, we got the white on white, we got the face mask with the eye guards, we have the Viceless Oakley Edge Shield, the Oakley White Clips, brand new Oakley Clips, and then we've got a nice Vices chin strap on here as well. I think overall it looks pretty good. I think it's a good looking helmet, um, this specific one, but like I said, I might be biased because it's, it's my helmet. Next thing I want to talk about is the price. This helmet retails for $900 from Vices, which obviously is a lot less than a regular Speedflex or a regular F7. Also, if you guys have any trouble getting your Vices Zero Two from Vices, our good friends over at Green Gridiron do have them as well for about $900, so we'll link them. But you guys have to keep in mind, a football helmet is an investment to your future health. Also, the Vices Zero Two provides you with a totally custom fit similar to the Riddell Precision Fit or the Shut F7 UR1, and both of those helmets are well over $1,500. So if you think about it that way, as far as custom fitting helmets go, $900 bucks is kind of a steal. Overall, this is the most comfortable and the most safe helmet on the market. It does look a little bit out of the ordinary, and I never thought I'd say this, but sometimes you have to prioritize your health over your swag. 
Lastly, it is a pricey football helmet, but again, it's so much cheaper than the custom fit models from other brands like Riddell, like Shut, so it might be worth it. There you guys have it. There's the full unboxing and review on the Vices Zero Two football helmet. This thing is action packed with tons of innovation, tons of technology. Hopefully you guys do like it. If any of you guys have tried this helmet already, drop a comment, let me know your thoughts on it. If you guys did enjoy this video, consider like, comment, subscribe for more videos just like this one. My name is Devin, also known as FBE, and thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode of Footballers.